Hello, I hope you are marvelously well. Today we'll take a look at the Zoom F1 after three years of owning and abusing it. Yeah, except that you cannot see it, you don't even know if it's recording, you cannot see the meters, you cannot dial this in. Okay, you probably want to hear the lavalier microphone, so here it is what it sounds. I'm feeding it, okay, I'm feeding it from the F1 to the mixer, no processing at all. This microphone is off, as you can hear, it's off. You're hearing this one, just to be extra annoying, right? It's going to the mixer, no processing whatsoever, no compression, no equalizer, no nothing. And then I'm sending it to the camera so that you guys can hear it. Um, the, the gain is an auto. It's at 96 kilohertz, 24 bit. Is it synced? Let's find out if that's synced. It's usually not. Um, now I activated the low cut. Now I activated the limiter. So that's full featured and the battery is about to die. And that is, that is one problem this thing has. The battery life is very short, especially when using capsules. Right, so using the accessorized, let's first off connect a capsule. So you can connect the Zoom capsules, which are okay microphones. Um, they're not really great, but they're they're okay microphones. Now you can connect. Is that better? You can connect the capsule like this. And once you do that, the automatic gain functionality is gone for good. And you have to dial in your gain here, which is normal, but very inconvenient if you boom this microphone or if you record yourself like right now, because I cannot see the levels. The level meter is here and the clipping indicator is here. I'm sorry. So. Once you point it and you go on a close mic yourself, uh, it's just impossible to, to read, you know. And then you're, you're doing this number because it, it holds like for a second and then it goes back. So you're doing this number to adjust it and it's super inconvenient. Um, your case, which is worse, is when, when you wanna boom this microphone just out of frame. And I usually don't do it like this. I do it sidewise so that I can go to the side of the boom and actually see something right and then it's yeah it's out of shot and it's pointing at you and you you really have no idea if if the levels are okay your use case is probably um, a presumer camera like this right and then you would connect the cold shoe to the hot shoe and You can see me fussling with this and I have owned it for a long time. And this thing has a history of coming loose and just dropping the microphone on the floor, which is extra annoying for some strange reason. Now, the next problem, apart from being extra large, is the next accessory. The dead cat this comes with is ridiculous. Not in a good sense, but in a bad sense. Now you can take a laugh at me right now. I'm not gonna even lock it. Look, look how these hairs just fall into the shot. Like, 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 seriously, Zoom, seriously? Let me show you a real system. All right, this is in a completely different price uh, range, but it solves the problem. This is a Sennheiser MKH416 P48, so the real deal with the right cut um, windscreen and the right cut shock mount. Okay, granted, this thing is bigger than all of this together, but it solves the problem. This is insanely good. This will pick up no, uh, voice and dialogue in an electronic news gathering style up to i would say three meters away from the camera it's super clear three meters what is it nine feet yeah so this is the real deal 
this is garbage. If you're gonna connect the headphones to the audio jack of this and you wanna uh, record yourself like, like this situation, just like this with, the, with that equipment, right? I wanna hear myself while I'm recording myself. Pretty simple, right? Can't do. Can't do because the delay is annoying. Then the other problem of that is that when you connect it to a camera by the means of a, a cable on the headphone jack here to the lining of the camera, which was my initial intent, um, the delay unsyncs the audio from the video. You can obviously fix that in Prague, but it's inconvenient and something to point out. And I guess we all start with a setup like this, right? Uh, this was certainly my starting not very long ago. Uh, a prosumer camcorder, uh, a prosumer audio system, and then uh, spending your free time trying to make a video system out of the piece of plastic, uh, which eventually got me tired. And then this brings us to, to, the, to, the, to this amazing word, prosumer. The other thing I have used this thing for is for, um, for Foley. Right, so as you hear, it's it's decent, it's it's okay, it's portable. Uh, battery life when using the capsule, <laughs> because the, the capsule needs phantom power for the dynamic microphones. I would say it's between some 10 and 15 minutes on alkaline batteries. You give, wanna give me feedback, please, go ahead, write it in the comments. If you have any questions, please go ahead, write it in the comments, I'm happy to to help you out if I can if I know the answer um, so yeah this was it so this was the zoom f1 after three years of misery uh, thank you for watching